hi everyone so uh, today I'm going to be teaching uh, based on uh, tutorial sheet 5 so I'm going to be explaining how to solve the questions in tutorial sheet 5 MSM 111 so the first question is uh, solve the following equations so to solve these equations you need to understand their basic rules of um, of logarithmic and exponential functions so these rules are the ones that can allow you to solve such questions so the first question that we have there we can see to say 3 squared is equal to 27 this is not a true statement it can never be true so for this statement to be true maybe they needed to put x there instead of 2 so this I'm sure was supposed to be in this format So for us to to solve for x, we need to make sure that uh, the base and the I mean the the bases are the same. So three is called the base here, and uh, x is called the exponent or the power. So you make sure that the bases are the same when the, when you have uh, let's take for instance m to the power n being equal to b to the power m. So Oh, sorry not to be let's say a again to the power m so if the bases are the same it means that n is equal to m that's how it is so we move on uh, we're going to have uh, when we raise I mean when we make 27 uh, to base 3 it's just going to be like this it's going to be 3 to the power so since the bases are now the same, it means that the powers are the same as well, meaning the powers are equal. So we're going to have x is equal to 3 as our answer. So let's quickly move on to the next question. So the next question there is saying we find this. So 1 over 2 x there is just the same as so this one is 1 over 16 we can also write it as 1 over 2 to the power uh, 4 so 1 over 2 to the power x can also be written as I mean this part can also be written as 1 over 2 raised to power uh, 4 so since the bases are equal there means that the powers are also equal so meaning the value of x there that we have is 4 so let's quickly move on to this one this one again we can make the bases equal how by making maybe all the all the sides the right and the left hand sides to to, to, to the base 3 we change them to base 3 so 27 to base 3 is just 3 to the power 3 and then outside 27 we have 4x and then we say this is equal to 9 to base 3 is 3 raised to power 2 and then we say this is x plus 1 so we now just simplify this we have 3 raised to power 12x being equal to 3 raised to power uh, 2x plus 2 so since the bases are equal it means that the exponents are also equal so I'm going to have something like this So we're going to have something like this plus 2. So you take this to the other side of the equal sign, you're going to have 12x minus 2x being equal to 2. So this gives you 10x is equal to 2. 
then the value of x there will now just be equal to 1 over 5 so this is your value of x so we do the same even on this uh, other question so this 1 over 8 can also be written as um, this 1 over 8 can be written as 8 raised to power negative 1 and then we have negative 2t there and then this is equal to 2 uh, t plus 3 so what you do here again is uh, you do the same thing that we are, that we are doing uh, what you do you you make this 8 to base 2 so it's going to be 2 raised to power 3 uh, of course it's going to be negative 3 yeah it's going to be negative 3 because of that because of this negative and then outside there we also have let me just write it this way yes and then outside there we have negative 2t this is equal to 2t plus 3 so from there now we can multiply the powers there we simplify we're going to have 2 raised to power 6t being equal to t plus 3 I mean 2 raised to power t plus 3 so we since the bases are the same means that the exponents are also the same 6t is equal to t uh, plus 3 so when you take this to the other side of the equal sign we are going to have 60 minus t which gives you 5t uh, is equal to 3 meaning your value of t will now just be equal to what well, I mean sorry this is going to be 3 over 5 so that's going to be our value of t okay so let's quickly move on to question 2 